Uh, okay, look at all this stuff. $212 in spending by me today, and I think I did pretty damn good. Uh, everything I bought was a bargain. Everything I bought was uh, priced too low. I did skip tons of stuff, pass up on a lot of things I wasn't interested in, and everything I bought is the kind of stuff I like to buy. Uh, $212. All this stuff, I, there's just so much stuff, I'm going to have to break this into a bunch of segmented videos and just piece them all together at the end. Um, I will start with the video games that I got today, which I did not get a lot. Um, but they weren't expensive, so they were totally worth buying. I missed up on some NES. Some guy rolled up uh, a few minutes before me, and I saw someone walking out with a little stack of NES games. And I said, oh, are you selling those games? I'm interested. And the guy was like, oh, I was, I'm waiting for them. I said, okay, sorry, right? And I gave him the, the right away, and he bought them all. But that's fine, you know. I'll find stuff as I find stuff. I don't have to find everything or get everything all the time because there's so much more stuff to buy besides video games. I don't necessarily have to get video games. I have a uh, enough choice and selection of things out there that I can buy instead of video games. Anyway, this is for AJ and all you guys who like video games the best. I'm going to show this stuff to you first. Got a nice working PS2. All of this was $20. So um, they said it worked. Maybe they're lying. I don't know. But it was only 20 bucks. I got a PS2 with a memory card that's a little dusty. They haven't used it in a while. Um, but it looks nice and clean. Nobody cut into it. In the back. And I'm going to try and go reasonably quick today. Got an aftermarket Pelican controller and an official Sony Nintendo controller. And it looks like I got the AV and the wires. Uh, the games I got, eh, nothing too great. But, 20 bucks and all these games can't go wrong. Rumble Racing, Shrek 2, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, uh, Quidditch World Cup, Harry Potter, Smackdown Raw 2007, another Harry Potter, and the Order of Phoenix. Uh, getting strong now, Rocky, Spongebob. Oh. Okay, there's two Spongebob games in here. That's cool. Didn't expect that. Uh, Cat in the Hat. I initially actually bought the games first, and they were 50 cents each. And then uh, I was like, I guess you don't have the console, right? Because I figured somebody bought it, and they're like, no, we got it. And they brought it out, and that's why I wound up buying this and the games and everything for $20. Uh, in terms of the other games that I got today, and then uh, right after I do this, I will move on. Because uh, i got to sort and put some stuff away and just... I, you know, I'm really busy, so it's going to be one of those days for me. Uh, but look at that. Look how dirty this is. And hopefully it's just dirt and there, it's not loaded with a bunch of cockroaches. Let me just see. Look, I'm sweating. Oh, it's pretty gross in there. Whatever. I don't care. It's five bucks. Five bucks for everything. At five dollars, who cares? That's a really good price. Some BS wire that I'll never use. Hey, you. Going to work? And then um, here's a kind of beat up. Disney's Mickey Mouse. You know, the game's made it worthwhile. What, you want me to walk with you? I don't have to. I kind of can. I got all this stuff sitting out here. Oh, Sorry, yeah. kiddo. I'll see you later. Here's um, the, the plug power supply to it. Looks kind of grungy, but I guess that'll clean up. Look, look at the rust on that. You know, for five bucks, who cares? It's almost free. Sega, two Sega Genesis controllers that are dirty. Uh, hardball. Uh, looks like a baseball game. Uh, Mario Andretti Racing, and Sonic and Knuckles. Is that it? Hey, five bucks, right? I can't, I can't even complain. I can't even complain. Even though it's filthy and stuff, it's going to take me like 20 minutes to clean it. All right. that's that. I think that's all the games I got. Next, I might do the jewelry so I can give it to the wife. She can sort through it. And uh, then I'll just keep going. I got records. I got CDs. I got uh, stuffies. I got everything today. Okay. All right, uh, this is part two of today's haul. This is the jewelry. I did not get a lot of games. Uh, they're all in that box. I think I'm going to leave it in the garage, just in case there are garages in that uh, really dirty soup. Uh, make that Sega Genesis console. Um, let me go through all this. I mean, we did really, really good today. I am, like, so happy I decided to go shopping instead of selling, because I can sell anytime. But I can't shop anytime. And this is the golden time of the year to find stuff. Uh, so check this out. Uh, let me start off with this. I believe I paid $3. But it's a big Swarovski kind of crystal paperweight. Really nice. Um, here's some random locks we bought for my daughter. She's going to need that. Um, here's a nice watch. Fossil. 
looking good. These were a dollar. Of course, I need new batteries. Everybody says, oh, um, it's a nice battery. It's a nice watch. It just needs a new battery. Copacabana, never heard of them. Needs a new battery. And uh, again, it was a dollar. My wife liked this sunglass, little keychain watch. She thought it was cool. Um, oh, and here's an Armatron with Schroeder and Snoopy. This might be the best watch of all. Uh, if it's legit, it's a Peugeot. Uh, I believe those are very expensive watches, but I don't. I'm not an expert on watches. Uh, again, I think this was only a dollar, you know. Amazing, right? Maybe it was two dollars. Who cares? Um, let me scoot down here and get right on top of this. Uh, this is monogrammed, but for a dollar, it is sterling silver, and it's hallmarked inside here. It says S. Kirk and Son Sterling, number 15, and I don't know, it looks like MPK, whatever, it's still Sterling. Uh, here's a Sarah Coventry enamel pin and earring set, very lovely, in the original box. Uh, I know I paid a dollar for this, and I bought this with a bunch of other really good stuff. That that yard sale, but I bought a little bit of junk, but I was just grabbing everything and just figured out, oh, I'll sort it out. I knew there were winners in there. I knew there were things that were no big deal, but here's a branch coral necklace. Only paid a dollar. Um, sometimes I just grab these, um, and sometimes they can be gold beads in here, and they could be onyx. So I was just scooping up stuff. I grabbed this. This turns out to be Monet which isn't bad, it's just, I mean, it's not gold, though. Um, here's just a flower pin, and here's a nice thick bangle. I think this stuff is called Champlev. I forget, but I believe it is, and this is a nice old one. I think I paid, I think I paid a dollar for this. So that's going right on eBay. They won't buy that from me anywhere else. Uh, I thought these might have been silver, but I don't think they are, but they were part, they were like a dollar with other stuff. And well, I buy differently than my wife buys jewelry. I just grab whatever and I'm like, who cares? Uh, here's an Ancline watch. Uh, nice condition. I don't see any missing crystals. I don't know what she paid for that. Maybe she paid a dollar. Maybe she paid five. Beats me. I can't remember everything. Uh, I'm assuming these are diamond. Yeah, it says right there. Right there. What's it say? Uh, 925. So these are sterling. Sterling, Sterling. I don't know why I had trouble saying that word. Diamond cut. Um, my wife just liked this cross. Uh, it was probably a dollar or two. It wasn't very expensive. Same with this angel pin. wasn't very expensive. Angel Star. Not familiar with that company, but for the price that we paid, that's great. I mean, just, man, we did so good today. Even the stuff I'm showing you now. There's one thing on this table that will pay for everything that I bought today all together. Uh, a couple of Sterling cufflinks. Nothing too special, but, you know, these are easily, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks on eBay, maybe 12 at the flea market, you know, depending on their weight. Let's see, is this sterling? Because this is heavy. I don't know. No, I guess it isn't. The clasp doesn't look right for it to be sterling, but I guess she just likes, my wife likes charm bracelets, especially when they have hearts. Yeah, it's definitely not. You can see a little bit of wear to the chrome plating, so whatever. All right, moving on. Um, this is kind of a cool looking chain and it's made by a company called Avon. Everybody's familiar with Avon. It's just a really cool link, as you can see. Um, who's this? Hmm. Tia Sophia. Nice, huh? Here's a Christmas tree pin. Uh, these do well around Christmas. Uh, this is a nice looking one, and it does have a maker's mark here on the back. I think it says, is that, ugh, part of my butterfingers. Okay, it is hallmarked by a maker. I just can't, and I have really strong glasses on, and I just can't read it right now. So whatever. It's just a nice uh, Christmas tree pin. This I just grab because, I, um, like, when I buy jewelry, sometimes I just grab stuff, and I figure there's going to be one thing that will pay for everything. This is another um, one of the things I bought for a dollar, and this is a sterling ring. It's Hallmark Sterling somewhere on the inside, somewhere. My wife found it, but uh, it's basically Mother of Pearl and Sterling. This is the kind of thing we'll sell for like, I don't know, 10 to $15 at the flea market. Uh, these bangles, even these aren't even old ones. These are newer ones, but these bangles do well on eBay. Uh, they don't do well at the flea market, but this little lot of bangles, I can see us getting, I think I paid 50 cents a piece. So that's $2.50. Uh, we'll very easily get like $25 for these on eBay. 
Uh, what's this? Oh, this is probably the coolest <laughs> thing I got today. It's a dump Nixon, and check out the schnoz uh, that they stuck on poor old uh, Dick Nixon. Um, I'm assuming this has got to be from the 70s, right? That's when they were trying to dump them, late 60s, early 70s. Uh, I'm not really good on the exact dates on that stuff, but this was three whole dollars. Um, this was also three dollars. This set here. This needs to be re-glued, but these, this is jade beads, jade earring, and a jade necklace. And it says right here, the exclusive Jade Dynasty collection. And it comes in this really nice silk case. Um, what do we get for that? Well, at the flea market, not too much, but she'll probably put that on eBay. You know, I can't imagine her putting it for less than $60, 70 $80, whatever. Um, I bought this because my daughter's name is Daisy. I mean, I see a little bit of enamel missing. But... This was made by a company called Weiss. Weiss is very collectible. There it is right there. I don't know if you can see it. I can clearly see it. Um, two coral bracelets. These were a dollar each. This had a nice look. I liked the little beads on it. Uh, the guy was a dollar. I'm like, fine, I'll just take it. You know, you never know. Sometimes I just, like, I don't, I'm not as careful when I buy jewelry. I buy broken stuff. Sometimes one of the things I bought was definitely broken. I'll show that to you in a bit. Um, these are made out of butterfly wings. This is uh, art that was coming out of South America, I believe mostly Brazil. And they made trays and other jewelry out of this stuff. This stuff goes back, I believe, to like the 40s. It's kind of an art deco thing. Here's a nice looking ring. I like the way this ring looks. And it says something on the inside. I could not read it. Oh, oh, it's, got, it's Disney. It's got a Mickey on it. I got to show that too. So it's Disney. So it's it's it looks like it's a Mickey ring with rhinestones. I'll show that to the wife. Uh, she's busy. I'm in a rush today, and I'm actually taking longer than I thought. Here's a, a crystal bracelet, and it has an extender on. I thought maybe it could be silver, but whatever. Uh, what's that say right there? Okay, I don't think it's silver, but it's still a nice tennis bracelet. And I'm sure I only paid a dollar. This might be silver because it says something right here. And that's like I said, I don't. I don't always even stop to look at shit anymore. I just like buy, buy, buy. Like with the records, uh, the lady, I, the lady was like, "How much are the records?" She's like, "A buck a piece, right?" Uh, so I'm looking at her and I'm saying, "Wow, the cover's all beat up." I said, "Look, if I buy a whole bunch, would you give me a deal?" And she said, "Well, what are you gonna buy?" I said, "Well, let's see." I made a pile, and she said, "Okay, how about fifty cents, two for a dollar?" And I'm like, "Great," but I'll get to those in a bit. Um, this is sterling, and it's just got little crosses, uh, it's a little design. This is probably one of the dumb things that I bought, but I thought it was cool. It was a dollar, you know. Oh, let me keep working. I'm going to save the best thing for last. These are, uh, I think, Alex and, yeah, Alex and Annie. That's what the box is. So I think these two bracelets are Alex and Annie. Alex and Annie stuff is expensive. Not that it's, like, really special or anything like that. Um, this heart here, but there, it's got a butterfly and it's got a friend. Uh... Wind and Fire Company. I don't know. Maybe they aren't Alex and Annie. Beats me. Who cares? Um, this is Sterling. It's just a heart necklace. And it needs to be cleaned very badly. And I bought these all at the same uh, sale. This is a little charm bracelet that needs... No, it doesn't need uh, repair. It, uh, I see. It's a little segment. And it has two little Sterling charms on it. You could, I'm sure you could see the... What's that say? It says uh, something. Seta. 925. And it's basically a little boy and a little girl with a little crystal in their tummies, in their tum-tums. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know, this isn't even old, but it's cool. It has these little fetishes, uh, fetishes, fe fetish charms on it. And it was made by a company called Sweet Romance. And it's just like a little purse. I don't know. Maybe it's you could put a couple of coins and wear it around your necklace. Or, you know, what do I know? And this is actually Disney. And it's, and it's from the uh, Made with Care Wonderland, 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 Disney. So I guess that's the key um, to one of the things she had to put the key into. I don't know. Whatever. Um, this is a bag that we're going to use for my kid. This looks like a Whiting and Dev Davis mesh bib necklace, but it's not. It's made by a company called Natasha. It was only two bucks, so she'll sell it for ten or eight or twelve. Whatever she sells it for, you know, it's like four, five, six times my money. That's the best right there. I'll get to that in a second. This is, you know, the lady told me this was Virgo, and my wife's a Virgo, so I was like, oh, maybe she'll like this. Uh, but it, it isn't. And what it, it's like a little bent. Is it like cracked? I don't know. It was only two bucks. 
So even if she sells it for $5, this is the one thing that I bought where I just grabbed stuff. And I was like, I didn't even see that it was broken. And it is. And this says it's gold filled and that's a piece of ivory, you know, bone ivory. These, I didn't look at them carefully, but I'm assuming these are silver and they look silver and they're just kind of a cool design. Isn't that, aren't they like pretty neat, huh? All right. Uh, the best thing I got today out of everything, um, ta -ta 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 -ta. That's hokey. I shouldn't do this stupid crap like that. <laughs> uh, this is 14 karat gold. And it, I mean, not that it's heavy, but it does have enough weight. I think there's, I think there's maybe, you know, I have to throw it on a scale, but there could be a couple hundred dollars worth of gold here. And it has a most unusual lock I've ever seen. That's a screw. So you unscrew it, it opens up, and then it clamps down. And uh, let me see if I can find the 14 karat gold. Some mark. It might be on the inside when you open it up. And I'm not going to unscrew it. Now, we almost lost the screw before. Yeah, I got a feeling when you open this up and unscrew it here, and you literally have to unscrew it. I think it's, it's hallmarked 14 karat gold. But when I picked it up, it looked right. And it's not hollow. That's like, if I squeeze it, it, it won't crush. You know, It's like a nice piece of gold. Um, that's why I'm thinking maybe a couple hundred dollars worth of gold here. Um, okay. The next video I'm going to do, oh, I bought this. This is stupid fun stuff. Check this out. I was going to get it and use it to scare people, but it's like very loud. It's like, uh, 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 uh. so everybody's going to know it's a fake spider. Anyway, I still got all this stuff to go through. Um, so that will be the next video. This is going to be a long video, folks. Hang in there. All right, I'm trying to move quickly, but I still got all this stuff to go. I think I'll do music next and records. Um, Dan, before I do the records... I got this. This is a Vox amplifier instrument. It's a wah wah pedal, like a big one, old school. I guess the guitar um, it plugs into the speaker, and I suppose that's how it's powered. It's got two ports here. I don't know anything about this stuff, but I paid five bucks for it. It's gotta be worth more than five bucks, Dan. You want to test this for me? Sell it? We'll split the money. Let me go through the records. Foreigner, Michael Jackson, bad. Now, these were only $50, uh, I'm sorry, 50 cents a piece. And I think I spent about $45 on them. Uh, Foreigner. Foreigner, the funny thing was they had repeat albums because they were a um, two people's collection of records that they uh, were a couple. And they apparently had the same kind of taste in music. So uh, let me keep going through. Uh, the Cars. Pink Floyd. These covers are a little beat up, unfortunately. I gotta check the records. If they're good, my plan is mostly, if these are like $10 records, I'm just gonna go $4, 3 for 10 because I only paid 50 cents a record. So, uh, you know, I don't have to be greedy. David Bowie, unfortunately, he just passed away. Uh, Michael Jackson has been gone for quite a while. David Bowie. Foreigner. Same cover, Foreigner. Uh, Go-Go's. Triumph and Triumph Highlight Horses. All right, we're going to keep going through. Let me just grab a bundle. Um, the Pretenders. Patty Smith. Pretenders. I'm going to try and do this quickly. This is, like I said, it's going to be a long video. Queen. God damn it, every time I put them down, they're the wrong way. Bad company. All right, let's try this. <sighs> Cars. All good music. All good rock. 80s, 90s, 70s. The Cars again. Rick Ocasek, he's getting divorced. Candio, one of their best albums. These guys now, the Cars, they're like in their 70s. Cars, uh, Starship, after they were Jefferson Starship. Peter Frampton, I'm in you. Look, there's some kind of stamp. Library of J-A-W. Hmm. They were probably part of a library. I don't know what library of jaw means. And maybe they were sold. <clears throat> a little chewed up, but that is Queen Jazz. As long as the record's good, that's all that matters. Especially if I'm not asking a lot. I have to check... Uh, Price on these Queen Hot Space, Joan Jett, 
Bad Reputation, Frampton Comes Alive. I like I like this album a lot. I always thought it was good. Kansas. <sighs> See what I'm saying? It's like, how did they all get backwards? Patti Smith. She was pretty punk. Look at them hairy armpits. She was ahead of her time. Uh, the Police and Jay Giles Band Sanctuary. I think, oh my god. All right, let's just try it this way. Nope, they're all backwards again. Hotel California Eagles. Benatar. I could have bought more records, but I passed up on the BS and whatever. Kansas. And the ones that were in really poor condition. Even these aren't in, like, like this one. Kansas. But again, if the record's okay, people will want a good record to go in their beat-up covers. And it works vice versa. Vice versa. Neil Young, Crazy Horse and the Bee Gees. You know, when records are 50 cents like this, I don't really, I'm not too particular. That's when they're, I went to one sale, and man, they had some good records, but they were eight bucks a piece. Boston, I don't know how I got this one. I don't know what, that somehow snuck in, probably Marie grabbed it by accident. John Hall, Daryl Oates, Pat Benatar, Kansas, Billy Joel, The Bridge, Psychedelic Furs. These guys are pretty punk. They rock. Uh, Robert Plant. Robert Plant. He was the lead singer in Led Zeppelin. Uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Unfortunately, Tom Petty passed away recently. All right, who's this? This is a pretty cool cover by a band called Sweet. Kind of a little chewed up, though. They said uh, the dog got to some of it. Kiss, Alive, Library of Jaw. Hmm. <sighs> this must be Joe, uh, what's his name? Oh, Bob Welch. Hotel California. Dun, 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 dun. Go-Go's Vacation. One cover's in good shape, one is not. We don't need edumacation. We don't need no edumacation. Pink Floyd, The Wall. Pat Benatar. Hmm. All right. I just tighten those up a little bit. Ugh, Sticks. Sticks was a rockin' band, if you are not familiar with them, in the 80s and 90s. Uh, this looks like Frampton again. Frampton. Boston. Man, Foreigner, Urgent, Urgent, Double Vision, and Hot Blooded, Check It and See, Planet Patrol. Hmm, I like that cover. So 80s, uh, Ario Speedwagon, Nine Lives. This must be Ario Speedwagon again. Oh, Pat Travers. Oh, Pat Travers, man. Okay, Madonna. Like a virgin, hey, Pat Travers band. I don't know who that is, but I, I whatever. Triumph. I, I was just grabbing stuff. Thirty eight special. There you go. Let me just tighten this up a little bit. So anyway, I think I'm gonna make at least two hundred bucks off of these records. The Babies. Remember the Babies? Sticks again. Blue Oyster Cult. I think their big song was Godzilla. Journey, journey, journey. It's outside Johnny and the, I thought it was Asbury Dukes. Uh, another Pat Benatar. See how some of the covers were in really good shape? One person took better care of their records than the other. The Babies. They had some song that was all over the radio. Um... Peter Gabriel, Peter Gabriel, <clears throat> Jackson Brown, I think he's the guy that sang, uh, no, no, he's not, but he, people like a Jackson Brown, uh, Belinda Garbelisle, after she left the Go-Go's, is this the Babies, John Waite, he was in the Babies, <sighs> Phil Collins, oh, <laughs> check this out, Fat Boys, this one could be worth money, and... 
talk show. Oh, this is Go-Go's. All right, that's the records. Uh, I think I'll do CDs next. E time. Uh, you know what? Let me just show this first. Namco, plug and play. Uh, it's got Dig Dug. It looks like it has Millipede, Centipede, Pac-Man, whatever. Daryl, I'm just going to give that to you. I have a box for you, and I have a big bag of Legos. Hopefully, the market won't get canceled tomorrow, and we'll be able to do it. First, I'll show the CDs I paid a dollar for, and then I'll, I'll tell you how cheap I got this big box of CDs for. Um, Beatles. Hall & Oates, best of. Well, most of the stuff is going straight out. Mamas and the Papas, best of. Best of Dean Martin. Uh, Johnny Cash. Fleetwood Mac. Good old Elvis. doo Hits. Sinatra. And I think I'm going to save these for the showcase because these are probably worth like 8 or 10 or something like that. Um, or more. So I need stuff that will sell in the showcase. The showcase is so freaking weak. And if I can't sell a goddamn Beatles CDs in the showcase, I don't know what the hell I can sell. Uh, and then... Did you guess? Did you have time to think of what I spent for this whole box of CDs? Well, first I'll tell you, um, when I asked about the CDs, they were like, we don't know, I'm not sure, I don't know what to ask. And we're like, oh, come on, right? So finally they go two for a dollar. I'm like, okay, great, because I expected them to go a dollar. I was picking the ones I wanted, I would pay a dollar for. Then they went two for dollars and I started picking more. Then I started saying, well, you know, hey, what would you want for everything, right? So they say 30 and I'm going through, and I got about, tw that where I paid $20, and the rest was BS. I go, would you go 20 They're like, yeah, fine, and they took it. So uh, here's what I got. Now, I don't even know if these are in good condition or whatever. I just bought them, hoping that they'll be fine. Uh, Faith Evans. I'm going to make two piles. Piles I like and piles I don't. I, I don't know. NKOTB, New Kids on the Block. I might take them out. Uh, Sade. Escape. There's a mix of BS. Vitology. I can't sell. I don't know why I can't sell that album. Escape. This stuff I'm just going to take out. Intro. Never heard of them. Mary. It looks like a lot of BS, right? But this is stuff I didn't really want. Bell Biv DeVoe. Naughty by Nature. Peter Gabriel. So. No doubt. Laura Hill. I got to look at the backs. If they're not too scratched up, I'm just going to take them straight out. Mary J. Bly. Arrested Development. Oh, God. I can't even stack some CDs. All right. Let me try again. Oh, stack. All right. Uh, who's this? Headrest. I don't know. Tony Braxton. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. I think I already did. Looks like a lot of BS, right? But that's because I put the ones I wanted in the bottom. Madonna. Big Chill. Total. Can't see your boys to men. Fuji's. Empty scratched up case. Erica Badu, Soul of Real. It isn't looking good so far, is it? Uh, intro, Jewel. Boys to Men, Madonna, Boys to Men, Jodici, Wyclef Jean, Queen Latifah. This should be two pack, right? No, LL Cool J, Brian McKnight, YBT. Young Black Teenagers. I'm not familiar with those guys. Shy. Luther Vandross. Coldplay. Parachutes. Okay, I think we're finally going to get to the better stuff. Uh, jazz for Quiet Times. Well, maybe not. Sounds of the Tropical Rainforest. Freddie Jackson. Man, I don't know. I got so much good stuff today. Even, even with the nonsense mixing. Genesis, 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 Genesis. Dave Matthews Band, Jackson 5, Soul Asylum, Cake. Good band. Actually, Cake, a lot of people don't know how good they are. U2, uh, they do a couple of covers that are really good. Lenny, as in Mr. Kravitz, Spin Doctors. Uh, Green Day, Guns N' Roses, Phil Collins, uh, Wicked. Two pack. Two, uh, Lenny Kravitz. Green Day. I'm trying to do this quick. Zeppelin. No doubt. Prince. U2. Tom Petty. U2. Lenny Kravitz. Stone Temple Pilots. This is the stuff that I would buy. Prince. Uh, Natural Mystic. Prince. Prince. 
Al Green, Method Man, Prince, Barry White, Luther Vandross, Lenny Kravitz, Okay, who's that? That's a uh, Christina Aguilar, empty. Bill Biv DeVoe, Silk, nothing. PM Dawn, Natalie Ophelia, Cheryl Crow, Monica, Erica Badu. Okay, I already showed those. Um, Eric. Bennett, Bennett, whatever. Uh, Super Duper Fly. Who is that? Missy Miss. Something. Uh, oh, Christ's sake. Uh, Killers. BS. Is it like their wedding thing? Uh, Fallout Boys. Luciano. Tony Braxton. Gloria Gaynor. Brandy. Not the drink. Anita Baker. Missy Elliott. Live, Sophia Ellis, Phil Collins, Presidents of the United States, uh, TLC, Salt and Pepper. I might give some of these records, CDs to Nick. I just I can't. The Babyface, Zane, Gentle Persuasion, Three Brass, Babyface, and Lenny Kravitz. Okay, I think that's all the CDs I got. I'm working my way through stuff. I got still got this to go, and that stuff there. I decided to do plushies, and I'll neaten that up in a bit. Plushies and uh, maybe action figures. I got all these Stitch. Remember Lilo and Stitch? I got a big Stitch. I got a little Stitch. I got a big Stitch. I got a little Stitch. I got a big Stitch. This one, I think, makes noise. There's batteries under there. I got a little Stitch. And I got a little Stitch. So I got all them Stitches. Check this. That's an easy 10 bucks right there, and I got it for free. I'm like, how much for that? They said, just take it. I didn't even care. Oh, there's a Sailor Moon plushie, um, but that's not Sailor Moon, that's Sailor something. Sailor Sun, Sailor, whatever. And then I got the Sailor Moon lunchbox. It's, a, it's got some condition problems, like some rust spots, but whatever. It was inexpensive. And then I got, let's see here. The Walking Dead, Compend Compendium Number One. I'm gonna give that to the kid. Um, let me get to this in a minute. I get to this. Just more random stuff. All right. Uh, wrestlers. These look like kind of older ones, but they need to be cleaning cleaned. You know, it was two dollars the whole box, so. You know, I got a feeling somebody picked through and took out the better ones. But whatever. Two dollars. It's just filler stuff. All I got to do is sell one of these. I got my money back. Uh, hey, remember this guy? The Rock. Yeah, these are pretty dirty. I just, hey, how much are they? And they said, give me two dollars for the box. I'm like, fine. Um, it also came with this. This was 50 cents. I just gave the kid three dollars for everything. Teenage Mutant Ninja Waddles. LC. Uh, did I say Waddles? Turtles. LCD watch. I'm going to try and finish up. Um, beaded flowers. I got a whole box. Eight dollars. You don't, these were handmade. They were crafted um, back in probably the 50s, 60s. People make bouquets. They sell for big money. Whole box. Eight dollars. I can't even show you everything now. What's in here. But I'm going to make a lot of money off of that. Um, got this starter jacket. And AJ seems to think this is worth 80 bucks. It's a starter USA, uh, medium, Olympics, and it's got all the tags on it, right there. And then I got this bag. If we don't use it, we'll sell it. This is a Swiss Army Wenger bag. Wenger, Wenger. Tags and everything. New, good shape. Like I said, if we don't use it, we'll sell it. Yeah, I think I, I, think I can just finish. I'll do that last. Um... Two dollars bottle of olive oil. Oh, and I got that thermos too. Uh, that was three dollars. Got these two action figures. They were like fifty cents. Uh, these were a dollar for the bag. It's just diecast airplanes. Here's
here's a Phillies hat. Oh, I just dropped something. A Phillies hat, very good condition. I think it was a quarter. Uh, see these? That looks like a marble, but it's not. It's actually got a crack, and I don't know if it was glued together or whatever. But this is for an ignition. This is for like your uh, the knob in the car that you uh, gear shift knob. Um, these, this one, I don't know because of the crack, but these can sell like $30 or whatever on eBay. And this one is, is like an agate. Pretty good shape. <sighs> there. Daryl, you've had these before. I've given them to you. Got a couple of t-shirts for myself. I like the color of that one. And I'm just going to wear them. It's actually like a good name brand. What is it? Mark Echo. And, hey, you ever hear Echo and the Bunnymen? That was a, a group. I don't know who that is, but it's it's got cool graphics. I don't even look at it. I'm just, oh, cool graphics. I'll buy it for myself. I, I like marbles. I think I might have mentioned this was $2. And this is some kind of marble display. It could be Chinese checkers, but there's some nice old marbles in there. These are the good ones. These are the ones you don't see too often. Swirls and slags and, you know, uh, patches, and patches and agates. $2. Only $2 for that. Um... These are embroideries. I'm not going to make a lot on these, but they're only $2, so who cares? You know, $2. And they seem to be scenes in Venice, and maybe that's Rome. I don't know. Um, last thing I got today, before I do it, let me just do my shout-outs. Quick shout-outs. Angry Steve, I met him today. He was doing a town He was driving around his beautiful new car. Uh, it's Everybody's envious of it. It's, uh, it looks pretty awesome. And... Uh, where do you go? He said he went to Rochelle Park, and he, it was not good not to go there. But um, I went to Hawthorne, and I did find stuff. Uh, Angry Steve, Bargain Barons, Nas of Nostalgic, uh, Video Gamer Daryl, uh, AJ, ASFB Zong. Tomorrow, we will probably be at, yeah, unless it rains, tomorrow the plan is to be at Jubilee Park in Clifton, is what I'm hoping. Um, also, let me give a shout out to, uh, say, Living the Good Life, uh, Thrift Hunter, uh, Blue, Bus ba <sighs> Blue Bus Dave, and everybody else that I can't think of uh, right now. Now, the last thing I got today was, and I, I, I'm, unfortunately, I think he just passed away, but I got two autographed Bruno San Martino, the Italian Superman, uh, wrestling photos. That one is autographed in pen, and this one seems to be autographed in marker, and uh, he was very young. And look pretty rough back then. Okay, that's that's it. I think that's everything. Uh, if you want to see my live hunting videos, check out my other YouTube channel that I'm sharing with some other sellers. We like we call ourselves the Scummy Resellers. It's just it's fun for us. It's a fun channel. Uh, I'll do the live hunting on that channel. Thank you and goodbye. Hopefully, I see you tomorrow. Come to come to Clifton Market and you'll see me there. Bye.